we're going inside. There's all these little gadgets that, um, that um, hook on to hold things open. Oh, that holds the cupboards up and, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Thank you. I'll tell you down here first. Um, this is your 12 volt system, which is those batteries I showed you. Mm -hmm. yep. When you're not using the camper, you want to have them off because uh, if something's left on, it'll drain your batteries. Okay. When you're using it and you're not plugged in, you can just turn that on. See how the bathroom light came on? Okay. Yeah. And that's your 12 volt system. These are floor lights mm -hmm. and those are inside lights and these are outside lights for out here. That's all <laughs> self-explanatory. This is your panel. Um, LPG liquid propane. Yeah, the switch has to be on to test that. It tells you you have a almost well, you have just about three quarters of a tank of propane. Mm -hmm. Your black water empty, gray water empty, fresh water empty as it should be right now for winter. Mm -hmm. And your battery is about a quarter charge because it's been sitting. Um, okay. That's your low voltage system. Okay. It's fairly easy, that mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. You're you getting all this? Yep, I am. Okay. I'm going to be a star. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. He'll put it on YouTube. You never. You no. can't be all sure. All right, good. Just, yeah, I'm just of recording course. my uh, my experiences. That's all for Absolutely. YouTube. Absolutely. People of YouTube. I don't blame you. This, of course, if you need it, folds down into a bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does that work? It just pulls right out of here. This just pulls up. The pole comes out, and then you set this table on these rails. Move the cushions in. Okay. Um, this is your um, your heater. Your um, furnace it works great. This is um, lights for that side, outside lights. Mm -hmm. um, if you, oh, the, the plug-in. Yeah, this is a switch. Yeah, the plug-in. That'll shine lights on that side oh, of the camper. Oh, actually, so that you can... You oh. have outdoor lights, you can light it up oh, all the way okay. around, yeah. Here, go um, around you, so you can lead on. <laughs> yep. These are the switches I tell you. Right now, it's on LP. So yep. this is running off of gas. Here's the switch. We want to put it on off now in the middle. Um, it was on auto, so it wasn't plugged in, so it automatically turned itself on in gas. Mm -hmm. So when you're on the road, it runs off LP. Mm -hmm. And when you're at a campsite, it runs off electricity, right. which is a nice feature. Good. Mm -hmm. This is where you start your generator up from inside. Yep. It won't run until the key's on, but I tend to... There it goes. Okay. Yeah. That's how you turn it off. Um, this is your hot water heater. Mm hmm That means it's on, but we don't want to do that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no water. Uh-huh. Um, this is obviously the bathroom. Yeah. The, um... There's two pedals on the commode. The right pedal will f just fill up water. So um, if you want to have more water in there, you do that, and then this one here will flush, flush both of them. Mm -hmm. One flush. So you can do actually num do a number two here? Yes. You just put more water in, and it's and fine. Right. Yeah. Cool. It's a home. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yep. And those are obviously the beds. Yeah. Now... Under here is your water system. These have to pull off before. This is that tank we saw from outside. Mm -hmm. Now, for the winter, I've drained this tank, which is this little handle here. You just pull it up and the tank drains, and it's back on. That's your water pump. And there's different valves here. When you get ready to put it back on, you just basically have to use a little common sense or get help figuring it out. Right. Because you want the valves to be in the right position so the pump shuts itself off. Um, okay. when, when it's against back pressure, you know, like when there's no faucets open, mm -hmm. it'll shut off. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I never know what that combination is until I start doing it. So this comes out of the bottom of the tank, for instance, and goes directly into the pump. So I would shut this valve here off that comes out of your temporary tank over there. And I would turn that one on that's, that's going up into the top of the tank again. This should work fine. Okay, cool. Um, the pump. Because sometimes I, I, I've had the valve in the wrong position, the pump just stays running because it doesn't, it just keeps circulating in these pipes. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. it's a, a very basic thing. Mm -hmm. And is that vinyl over there? This is an outdoor patio that hooks onto your awning, mm -hmm. and, which I've never put on. Is it screened or just? Screened, yeah. I've never mm -hmm. put it on though. Okay. And what is that up there? What? This is your, um, your electrical panel. Um, low voltage fuses, line voltage, your electricity for when you're plugged in, if something blows, that's okay. there. I've never had a problem with that either. Carbon monoxide testers. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have one of these things without it, especially when you're running the heat, you know. Right, okay. Okay. And your shower is self-explanatory. Well, uh, yeah, that's fairly obvious. And what is this uh, down here? What is this? I want to shut this off. What is that down there? It's a circuit breaker. Okay. Um, you know, like you have ground fault interrupt, like you have in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. and that's all that is. Okay. Yep. And this is where your heat will blow out out of your furnace. And that's just wiring and stuff. Hey, be careful when you're going to go head first down that chute. And air conditioning is up here, Yeah, that only works off of electricity when you plug it in. Right. Mm -hmm. But it does work. Yeah. And the air conditioning works from the engine, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're driving down so the road. So it, it, okay. both, electri both air conditioning and heat, No, right? the heat's elsewhere. Heat's separate. Okay. Heat, you can see some duct underneath Yeah, it's all duct. Heat's elsewhere. That's elsewhere. a little pantry for keeping cans and food okay. and things. Okay. Okay. I think the the biggest thing is to remember to shut your switch off for your step because mm -hmm. you don't want to be driving down the road and have your step sticking out. <laughs> That's obvious, yeah, because you don't want, want it, it getting caught on anything. Right. So I, what I would what I normally do is just make sure that it's off all the time unless um, I'm camping. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because and then it can stay um, out. <laughs> then it can stay out. But before I leave the campsite, I make sure that I put it back on again mm -hmm. so it'll right. close with the door. Okay. Okay. All right, so anything in the cab I want to know about? Oh. <laughs> Let's record right here. It's cool. No? It's all pretty straightforward. Yep. Put it in drive and go. Yep. Um, that's, that's an old... I, that little gadget there, yeah, I see to it. the right of the thing, is a, um, an electric brake if you have a tow in a trailer that has electric brakes on it. It'll plug right into the back. Okay. It's yeah. a, you know, a real sophisticated okay. unit. You took those things out the other way down. Mm -hmm. so I appreciate that. Yeah. No, if you find something. Uh, I see maps and that are yeah. cloth. I can take this junk out. No, I don't care about it. You can just leave it there. But if you want it, obviously, we'll stop this and then record a little bit. See ya.